Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys, big game. Well, I knew eventually I was going to have to do a video like this, but I told you this was going to happen. Keep in mind, a lot of my predictions came true that I said was going to happen. So now I see it starting to happen now. Now it appears that, you know, the mayonnaise nation want to come out from whatever rocks they crawl from under or whatever caves they came out of. Now all of a sudden they want to pop their collar, you know, and put up their swastikas and put up their, you know what I'm saying, they white power, power fist in the air based off what happened with Kayla Plant. Now, I want to say to Kayla Plant, this isn't, no, this isn't tied to Kayla Plant because Kayla Plant is a good dude. Uh, keep in mind, Kayla Plant, like I said, granted me one of my first interviews, if not the very first interview when I first started to, uh, you know, be on the beat. So Kayla Plant was one of my first interviews, but now it appears that a certain group of people are starting to rally behind Kayla Plant. And now what they're about to do is start trying to play, you know, play that game. Now it's funny that the Mayonnaise Nation, they didn't give a damn about Kayla Plant. A lot of people thought Kayla Plant was a little too urban, you know, if you catch my drift. And then based off the fact what happened this past Saturday, now all of a sudden they're trying to somehow attack, trying to attack my community based off what happened with Anthony Durrell. Look, at the end of the day, uh, nobody told Anthony Durrell to say what he said. And that's just real talk. Because it's like this. If you're going to say that stuff, you better be able to back it up. You better make sure that it happens. You better make sure that it happens. The funny thing was, when I first saw Kayla playing, I, I dug his style. Let's just face the fact. For the most part, you would say, and this is why a lot of people from the Mayonnaise Nation kind of didn't like or didn't want to attach themselves to Caleb Plant because his boxing style was a little too urban. And a lot of people I've seen on certain media outlets were saying that about him. From his boxer style to who he chose to marry and all this kind of stuff. Now, this isn't an attack on Caleb Plant because Caleb Plant is a good dude. He's a good dude. Um, his wife, she's a sweet person. You know, I interviewed her a couple of times. Jordan is, is cool. And Caleb is cool. Because like I said before, Caleb Plant granted me my first interview, one of them anybody knew who he was. Now, you can say now Caleb Plant is a star now in boxing. But I used to see people dissing Caleb Plant. And I mean dissing him hard. But now all of a sudden he knocks out the rail. Now all of a sudden people saying that uh, black media content creators are are our people that are our black people as a whole are not giving Caleb Plant his just due, and we're saying that we didn't think Caleb Plant could be the black fighter. Who said that? See, y'all the ones that's making this about race. Same thing with Tyson Fury. The mayonnaise nation didn't give a damn about Tyson Fury until that second fight with Wilder. Then all of a sudden, they come out their caves and they crawl from under their rocks, and then they start popping off at the mouth. So now I guess they finna do this with Caleb Plant. Because first of all, Caleb Plant's biggest supporters were people that looked like me. I had been talking about Caleb Plant. And I said he got it. I, I said that he got potential to be big in boxing. Now it's funny, people love accusing people like me and John Boxing and other content creators oh you guys make everything about race well who's making it about race now now should Anthony Durrell have said some of that stupid stuff that he said yeah I don't really get, uh, you, you know 
I didn't think it was a good good look. But then here's the thing, because I know somebody gonna bring that up though and say, well, what about what Anthony Durrell said? Okay, cool. What about what Larry Merchant said uh, when Deontay Wilder was defeated by Tyson Fury in that second fight, how Larry Merchant was gritted, saying that Deontay Wilder was the last Black Hope heavyweight? Where was y'all at then? Where was y'all at when Caleb, Caleb, where, where was y'all at, excuse me, when Abel Sanchez was making his comments? about black fighters don't sell. Where was, where was y'all at then? Where was y'all at when Steve Kim was making his remarks about Carissa Shields openly playing, praying for the downfall of the PBC? Where was y'all at then, along with a lot of other people? Where was y'all at when Eddie Hearn father made his comments regarding slavery when it, when it pertained to Dillian White? Where was y'all at then? Yeah, nowhere to be found. So don't come on my channel and other people out there trying to talk this race shit because you don't want to have that debate with me. Where was y'all at when Golden Boy made their comments towards Al Heyman? Calling him the N-word and, and, and all that kind of stuff. Now listen, I've called out Al Heyman and the PBC for some of their tactics, and rightfully so. But I ain't never called Al Heyman, you know what I'm saying, what, what was said about him. See, I can name several incidents. What about what Sergey Kovalev said about Adonis Stevenson being a, being a monkey or a gorilla and all that kind of stuff? What about what he said about Andre Ward? So, Y'all sure y'all want to have this conversation and Polly Malinaji who always tries to take digs at black fighters. And that's why I don't mess with Polly Malinaji. So while y'all trying to play that role, like I said, you don't want to have that conversation with me. So you can just save that stuff. The funny thing is with me, once again, it's funny how you have a legitimate pound for pound fighter and Arthur Benabib. And he really doesn't get the buzz that he should should get. I'm just I'm just saying. So you don't want to play that that race race shit with me. Cause you bark it up the wrong tree. And I swear. The motherfucker will collapse on you trying to play that stuff with me. You don't want to have that conversation. At the end of the day, Caleb Plank got all his props. He got all the praise in the world because it was a sensational knockout. But y'all sitting up here saying that, that black media and black content creators are not giving Caleb Plant is just y'all the ones that was doing it not us so don't try to put that on us don't try to hang that bag on us because you don't know what you're talking about like I said one of my favorite fighters is Arthur Better Be I've traveled to Philadelphia and New York to go cover his fights Okay, so you can stop that stuff. I mean, don't e I mean, don't even try it. You guys look foolish. You guys look stupid. Like I said, inconsistent. But you had the audacity to come on other people's outlets. Hey, can we not make this about race? Man, fuck you. I don't take orders. I, I don't take orders from y'all. You don't tell me what to talk about. It's funny how you tell us and ask us and demand that we don't make something about race, but then you guys are making this about race. And then when you get called out, then all of a sudden you either disappear or you get or, or you get quiet. Or then you'll try to say, say, hey, 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 let, let's not talk about race. But you, once again, you making it about race. Nobody brought up Caleb Plant's race. 
not me. You got to remember, I watch other people's channel. Nobody brought up the fact that Caleb Plant was white. But I saw some of the... Let me tell you something. Caleb Plant's biggest detractors look like him. Most of the people that was criticizing Caleb Plant look like him. Saying, hey, I'm not sold on Caleb Plant. It's just something about him that I just don't... I, I I just don't know. Well, I, I have an idea what it is. And like I said, once again, shout out to Caleb Plant because this ain't a diss towards him. I didn't spoke to Caleb Plant off camera, on camera. Caleb Plant is a cool dude. And everybody that I know that's that's been around Caleb Plant like the dude. You know? So I'm just keeping it. I'm just keeping it a, a, a solid. I'm just keeping it a solid. So you can save that race shit. Real talk. And don't bring that over here because I will, for real. For real. You will leave this, you, you will leave this channel with your, you, you know what I'm saying, with your feelings hurt. Anyway, it's your boy Town Biz. I'm out.